Hey, awesome people of YouTube, welcome back to the channel uh, and welcome to the very first Warhammer 40k Darktide video. In this one, I will try to answer if uh, answer the question if the Warhammer 40k Darktide worth playing in 2023 with the just recently a few days ago release of it on Xbox Game Pass. There's probably a lot of new people that want to try it or are trying it. So, personally, since I'm on Xbox, it is free. So, right there, it's already a huge plus because, you know, I don't have to pay anything. All I have to do, all it costs is just some memory space and some time. Um, in the game, there are four different classes. As you can see, Big Brute is Ogren. There's a veteran like this dude. Uh, there's a Zealot, and then there's a Psyker, which is what I'm currently playing. I've been spending a little too much time playing Psyker, but um, let's show you what... Um, this is uh, my stuff, then you got veteran stuff. Actually, might be best to um, show you um, stuff. Ogren, as you can see, they're big brutes. They're in the Lord, they're not very smart, but they're big and strong. You have uh, Zealots, which are your, I believe this is Zealot. Uh, can you tell me? Yep, that's Zealot. They're like religious fanatics. Pretty cool, they get some cool abilities, because I unfortunately cannot show you, because I don't know. Oh, I can I have a care. I'll probably show you. Yeah, so uh, I won't be able to show you the veteran or the auger. Then you have the veteran, which is your uh, military soldier. You have space marines and you have Asher Militarum, your regular uh, human soldiers. And that's him. He has some cool abilities. And then you have Psyker, which is what I'm meaning. Um, each uh, character or operative has their special abilities. You can also. You have cosmetics and loadout. You can earn cosmetics three different ways. With real life money purchase, in-game uh, currency purchase through commissary, and um, well you know, what is your stuff like desire? that. You can get some cool outfits like this, or even mind which. And then the third one is through your penances, which is your achievement type of stuff. So if we scroll all the way down to redacted and you open it, you'll have your class. So for like Psyker, when I complete certain missions, there you go, loaded, I'll be able to unlock them, right? Besides that, you have talent, which are your skill points. You can also make five builds. Uh, you can get a tot total of 30 skill points. If you take like your blitz, your main ability, you won't be able to pick two others. Same with the aura. Same with your like uh, ability, ability, and then your keystones. You can easily respect for, I'm not sure for console, because I'm using my keyboard. You can easily deactivate it, say boom, 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 and it costs nothing. Uh, you can have some cool stuff for like Psyker. You can explode enemy heads, pretty cool. Uh, you have Smite, which is your like Emperor Palpatine lightning fingers really cool for CC. Then you have Asail, which is your crystals homing. Pretty cool for uh, killing enemy groups. Then you have like Aura, your uh, make two where your allies and your coherence, which is when they're grouped up. They'll get more crit chance. You have your cooldown reduction Aura and then your Aura for me uh, making them deal 10% more damage to elite and specialist. Uh, you have your venting streak, which is like a push. Your Telkan shield, which is shield, depending on which setup you go with. And Seer's great, uh, Gaze, where you do a lot more damage. You get stacks. Uh, for Keystone passives, or Keystones, you get the Sharp Destiny. Pretty much every second you mark an enemy, I... Or enemy within 25 minutes have a chance to be marked. Killing them, you get a bunch of buffs. Uh, and Power Sonics, you have a chance to make your next Blitz, which is your, like, main damage ability for me which is brain rupture to be empowered you know depending on which one you get certain things then which one the one that i run is warp sign killing the lead or specialist enemy gain me a warp charge 
and I have uh, I would like to have it where the ally gets it but that's okay I have a different but that's you can switch easily like I have build 2 which uses smite you know boom is 3 which is use asa you can easily switch I played this game for I don't know probably like 20 30 hours I've been having a lot of fun um, there's different difficulties there's your regular five difficulties and even higher kind of so I have your difficulty one which is sedition I've got two uprising three is malice four is heresy and five is damnation and different missions like have espionage which is by this simple this one is strike some disruption then starting tier two and up they have they can get certain conditions like this one is lower intensity engagement you know so you have less enemies this one you have more packs of uh hounds but you get more gold and experience versus this one like low intensity gets some 4k and 3100 experience this one you get 4k more almost 4k more gold and uh like 1300 more experience you know or this one where you have less enemies but more uh hounds you know and then the ma uh, mail storm which is the big one it can be three four five on the regular standard difficulty and then we'll have like waves of mutants nourish blessings where they have a chance to get uh buff to make them stronger the waves of special enemies and players have 20 percent reduced ability no so you can progress from tier one up to tier five or you can stay in tier threes and tier fours that's perfectly fine and there's auric level where it's even harder because all there's only buffs like example where this one high intensity shock troop combat there's more enemies as well as increased specialist deployments expect specialist strike teams and there's maelstorm which uh again way of a specialist enemies and there's blessings where they have a chance to become tougher monstrous specialist where they have the the specialists have become weak monstrosities which is like mini bosses only scab faction enhanced blitz no edits but it pays a lot of gold or uh dockers i believe and a lot of experience but experience becomes useless once you level 30. you know there's a lot uh you be able to purchase weapons be it common uncommon ex rare i think exalted and transcended you can rank it up you know getting blessings perks and you can change perks and blessings um you know and each class has their special weapon for like uh for psychic i have dueling sword or not dueling swords i have uh four swords and i have staffs for um the zealot i have a flamer and a few other a few other ones for the uh, secondary for primary it's like a club type of weapon it's different you know um besides that like i said you can kind of like customize their perks for example your on your curious which is like your accessories you can change two out of three you know over here but you cannot change the blessing while on the weapons you can change the blessing and the perks but you can only change one perk and one blessing but you can earn a blessing by sacrificing a weapon and getting that blessing permanently in your collection so if you get a weapon that has really good blessing like tier four um you know tier four uh what is it version of like shred where it, more crit chance uh on sh uh chained ones it's really good to sacrifice you can put on a better sword or a weapon whatever no uh you can earn your dockers pretty easy by completing missions you can get uh class still in a little higher difficulties diamond diamond team like tier uh I believe tier three and up so all of it is useful you know you can also get um uh, where's it at there you go this stuff where you get special contracts weekly you know you get spe uh, where you get special currency um different things and if you complete it within a week you get even more where you can purchase uh, a daily uh 
it resets daily this market you can purchase special weapons you know you can get this ascended weapon with this perks so if you're looking for like uh, a higher tier perk you can get it here you know tier three and stuff obviously it might take you a bit of time or if you get a really nice um curio or like a accessory you can purchase it here you know there's a lot of stuff to do uh, like i said multiple different challenges it's definitely a lot of fun so for me it's worth it even if i didn't have fun just as much fun i mean i didn't have as much fun even if i only played for like five six hours and i had fun in that it's it was definitely worth it like so there's four different characters so you can work on min maxing them or just get into level 30 it's still going to take you several hours you can get you to at the very least uh about 15 to 20 hours of fun if you're on xbox it's free or game pass so with that said it's kind of personal if it's worth it or not in my opinion it is worth it especially for me but do let me know if it's worth it for you down in the comments with that said don't forget to leave a comment leave a like subscribe with that said don't forget to awesome. I'll see you in the next one and bye bye.